we are going to try and utilize the um, lessons learned from the recent friendly matches that we played and really it's a, a focal point on just keeping good position and not overestimating the opponent's position but also not underestimating our position as well and really it's a, about moving forward as best possible even if we're going backwards it's got to have that element of being able to go forward at some stage if we're playing defense nanny then that's when we're losing tempo losing position and giving the advantage to the opponent so we're going to kick off and play the 10 minute game and see if we can practice um with some numbers on okay fair enough see if we can practice these um new concepts moving forward move forward if we have to move backward move backwards to be able to move forward at some point let's just develop the knight attacking the pawn let's make space for castling it's all basic stuff simple stuff but let's watch the magical way in which they find these beautiful positions we'll be able to sense it as soon as we get into those positions I'm going to attack the bishop, see what it wants to do. Let's take. Let's get the bishop out. Shall we get the queen up? So it's at this point here, long pause now from the opponent. Let's have a look at the it's usually some type of tactical type thing. Um, I don't really face many positional type players. It's a tactical thing of them gaining some type of advantage. Okay, so we could take this pawn, take, take queen here, but I don't think, I think the knight saves the day. We can push in the center here. Just leave this a little bit. The bishop's protecting for now. I'm going to just push the center forward. Not sure if I'm taking with the pawn or not if they take back. They're not taking back. All right, so they're doing long pauses type thing. Could take, knight takes. I'm going to take with this pawn. We'll be looking to take our bishop off the board, which is protecting this pawn. So we may as well just take this pawn off the board to save any confusion. And they'll be taking because they're going to be doubling our pawns in front of the king. Oh, they're not doing that just yet. So it's given us a two on one type of thing. So we could take with the queen and attack their queen and take the knight off the board or take the queen. It's got to check on our king, so we'll take the knight. So we've momentarily got a minor piece up which is a bit strange. This usually doesn't happen. So let's see how they come back from this then. So this rook is coming here. We could take this pawn, attack their rook with the bishop, or we can attack the queen. Let's just go simple and attack the queen. Yeah, so they're moving real quick. Looks like they've got it sewn. Gonna take, oh, we can't, can we not? Oh no, shame. I thought the bishop was on this pawn. <laughs> the queen's on the pawn though so we could take with the queen <laughs> oh my gideon all right so he's tripled up now on the bishop okay let's attack the queen doesn't look like they want to exchange with the queen queen's probably coming here A long pause again. So there must have been a move order done wrong in the early part. We can always go back and take a look. Yeah, said he's not going to exchange. Bishop can harass the queen. Or do we want to try and double our rooks up? Getting the rooks up here. Cross. 
Is he going to... Small piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong or we can attack the queen again with our queen. He's just going to make his way around the side, isn't he? Going to attack the queen again. Doesn't want to exchange, so maybe going backwards and forwards looking for a draw. No, so it's on a dark square now. And is he going to try and get his rook down here somehow facing our king? I think that's probably what they're going to do, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 boom. It's actually attacking our pawn, so let's hit his queen again. Might, it might block this time with the rook because he's fed up of getting attacked. With the attempt of trying to go here, maybe. I'm trying to stay cool because we've got the advantage, but we always... Not always, but we tend to let our advantages slip away from us. And that's the most annoying part about chess. Yes, you might be winning, but why did it suddenly just slip away? So I think we'll go with the bishop this time attacking the queen. Smaller piece attacking, seeing as I'm not wanting to exchange. How did we let it slip away? That is the key question. We're winning. We want to try and keep... Yeah, so he's just dancing now. We can't do this because he's got three pieces on there. Bishop can just keep harassing the queen. It's attacking the pawn here. How did we let it slip away? Because we... Let them get. So we'll bring that pawn up, protecting the pawn. If the queen f forgets and thinks he's got it for free, we've got the queen here. And even though I know that I let it slip away and I could let it slip away in this game, it can still happen. And I'll be like, oh, I can't believe I've done this. I can't believe I've done that. It's the nature of the game. I'm trying to avoid it as best possible. Even though I know I'm winning, it will it, they can still find ways of... Oh, good job. This rook is there, isn't it? So we take... So he's going for the back ranker, but the queen can come here. So if we take... Queen takes... Rook takes... Rook takes, queen here. Rook takes, king takes, and we've got a bishop up anyway, haven't we? Yeah. Takes. Queen takes. Rook takes, rook takes, queen here. Am I missing something? I don't think I am. I think they believed it was a back rank mate and now they're realizing that the queen can come here. Sure, I'm not missing anything. It's yeah. Now they're they're thinking. Ah, there we go. Well, that was very lucky indeed. That was um. Oh, I want to have a look at the early part because we ended up being a minor piece up, and 
I think positionally that just helped us. But maybe they could have done something slightly different. So I don't like celebrating when really they were in the advantage. So queen comes up, they take, we take. So it's not point three, it's not, that's nothing. Comes across, we attack the pawn. So attacking the pawn is not a good thing, it's saying. So we've given them, we were winning, not point three. And then attacking, so there's some sort of move order. Nothing. It's not a taking. Oh, stop it. Stop it. It's the knight taking. It's not broken, is it? No. Knight taking the pawn. Take. And it's showing 1.4 at the 1.5 still for them. So they're obviously getting bishop or a bigger piece off the board aren't they because we're up two pieces here yeah, what's the deal well we're up a minor piece so we take take then they take and the pawn is on the bishop so he's going to get one of the bishops so he's getting one of one back Take the knight. Oh, that's given them one. Wow. So the knight taking that pawn, that combination would have worked for them. And obviously, maybe, yeah, this takes because it's on the queen. Ah. There. And then they just take back like that. 1.9. Wow. He who dares wins. I mean, it might be obvious to other people, but wow, that is very weird looking. So they came with the, and then we captured, and it's still one point, one point something for them. So they're still winning. This is why I wanted to have a look at this because I thought I felt well. I don't understand really how we got an extra piece up. It must have been some sort of move order thing that went wrong there because it it happened very smoothly. But all the while, they had the opportunity to take us to town. So they grabbed the pawn, so they shouldn't have grabbed the pawn. They probably should have just grabbed this bishop. Yes, that's what it's looking like. To, like we, I think we mentioned in the game, doubling the pawns. And he's got like a two-on-one now on, on here. So the queen can take or the knight can take. Well, which one do you think it would suggest? So 1 1.2, 1 1.1, and 1 1.5 for the knight taking. Hmm. In the bishop here, that's two. So they were winning. Positionally, they were winning. Yeah. I'm glad I did this um, evaluation of this game. This is nice, 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 hefty learning. And at that point, then it's like, well, kind of straightforward. They just weren't giving up the queen. And then this move order thing here was um, pretty straightforward, even though it, it does put doubts in your brain. Nice game for the learning. And yeah, yeah, I don't think, I don't personally think I would ever see something like that, but it's nice to have it in the back of my subconscious for the longer games because you'll have I'll have a lot more time to think about the potential for that type of stuff which is really quite nifty if I can pull it off hmm that's just in the forward motion forward to go backwards positively with a potential for forward motion let's attack the queen let's attack the queen again so we take the queen off the board, develops their bishop for them. Let's just develop the knight. I think we forward motion with the pawn or the bishop, whichever. So they've gone for a long thing. Let's just go for an x-ray through. 
just keep this real simple. I'm going to take, okay, and let's, it's going to double the pawns in front of our king. Does it make much difference? <laughs> nah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Don't overthink it. These things happen. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's attack the knight. Don't think they'll exchange because they don't want us to bring this pawn back in line. Okay, it's bringing the rook in. Let's just take it, keep it as simple as possible. Let's bring the king up. It's probably going to give the king a bit of a taste. Not yet. Shall we push this pawn? Let this bishop breathe a bit. So he's gone behind the pawn. So we, if we push, he takes. Then we get a check on our king. I think. Just come here first. Probably get the king across here. Maybe don't panic too much because he does have a pawn in front of himself. But I think this is going to push. So he's looking to get more weight behind that pawn. Behind the rook, sorry. Shall we move the king now? Move it here, baiting the pawn? Or is it trapping the king? Hmm. Let's bait the pawn, see if we're going to get some activity. It's going to want to get the bishop out so that the rook can come and support the attack. Ah, we baited the pawn. Nice one. Brings the pawn back in line, but now it's uh, here. So let's just bring the king here. Now he's being very fierce with his attack. Wants to get down and put a check on our bishop. Could hit the pawn. Just to make some space, if he pushes down, bishop takes, okay. Trying to give them things to think about so they don't get this rook here and start blasting down. Seems to be working so far. Forward motion, but they've probably started to realise that we're causing them a bit of trouble. Does take, let's take with the king, active king. wants to get this out yeah exactly so we can take i don't see a problem with that and now we're kind of half opening but he's going to take this pawn here i'm going to say half owning this file but i moved too quickly i could have just gone here like this so i think that was a bit of a wasted movement there so let's just go here and attack this pawn it's got this pawn it's just going to be a massive take fest yeah Narration mode is a killer, you know, you get into the flow of, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I could have just taken my time and just saved the pawn here. There was no rush. So I've done this to myself. So we're now just going for a take fest thing and trying to see if we can get around the back onto their king before they get around the back onto us. It's not doing that yet so we might win some tempo in terms of being able to do that thought it was just going to take the pawns off so he's taking that pawn that way let's take this way so he can't come here because the pawn will take so he may just come and defend the pawn and attack our pawn here Yeah, so we made an error in the movement. I'm hoping they've made an error in... Oh, it's, um, it's plus one. We probably will be able to get this pawn off. This could probably quite easily be a draw, couldn't it? Takes, takes, takes. Okay, take. Put a check on the king. Take. Let's move the king. Let's bring the king back. So this is a draw. <laughs> oh yeah, I messed that up. I didn't need to move that rook like the way I did, which is a shame. Let's go here. Oh. 
Mmm. We're too far around this side now. I thought we had a bit of magic. But, oh, he's, he's allowing us. He's allowing us. But I think it's a draw. If he just uses his sense, he just goes up and down. The king can't come past, can it? Only issue is he can't go here. And they've resigned. Okay. Let's take a look at it just to confirm. Yes, exactly. So they lost a bit of time and tempo with the king there. I don't think they needed to allow that to happen because it was a draw really, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a draw from this point on. So I'm thinking I can try and sneak around the side and the back and then I had a panic on thinking, eek. If they take, then does his king get around the back and come round here and my king's too far over the other side? But that's not the case because their king can't get around. So they do lose a bit of tempo. As you can see, the gauge bars um, singing our praises there. So we got lucky in that game because really, where was we? Let's get to that position where I didn't need to let the pawn go. And I think they could have kind of wiped us out at that point. Well, even Stevens-ish, but yeah, here. All I had to do was come here, but they're winning still. It's minus two. So we bring the rook here, they take, so it's minus three. Look at that. So now we're saying, all only thing we can really think about is just getting this rook around here. Just let him take all these pawns and see if we can squish their king somehow. But they brought their rook back, which I think might have been the mistake. They're still winning 0.5. And then they go for the exchange and it's a draw from that point. So, yep. Really should have been an equal game, but understanding end games, I suppose, is a helpful bit of knowledge. Nice one.